everyone and welcome back to my how to choose your class guide series today we are talking about everyone's favorite class to hate the sorceress this dark magic crow themed grim reaper style assassin is known for her high skill ceiling and play style that is always tricky to deal with from her release she has been one of the menaces of black desert bvp this is in large part due to her movement, most of which are short-range iframes designed to reposition you quickly around opponents, making her a brutally effective melee assassin. The sorceress's constantly disappearing playstyle makes it difficult to track down and CC by opponents, but also makes the skill floor on the class very high. Being able to move unpredictably, manage your stamina, and extend to find CC and PvP is a lot to expect out of any player, and all of these things are required to play Sork at a competent level. That being said, once you get past the learning curve, the class can be among the most rewarding in the game. Sork definitely has the highest potential in 1vx scenarios against many opponents, which makes her efficient at just about every aspect of PvP. Sorceress's biggest downfall is also her greatest strength, her movement. Because she has relatively short iframe dashes, she struggles to keep up in fast-paced fights or to close the distance on fast-moving ranged opponents. Her APM requirement is very high, as you may have guessed, so her PvE can be very taxing on your fingers. But it's still a very solid choice in terms of overall PvE efficiency. In terms of Awakening versus Succession, there are only really a few key differences. Awakening Sorceress wields a Grim Reaper-style scythe she uses to butcher her opponents, and has more super armors to catch and trade with. In contrast, Succession Sork amplifies her amulet, and her pre-awakening kit consists of more frontal guards. This means that although Succession has to do a much better job of positioning her opponents in front of her when coming out of iframe, she gets to block damage instead of trade with it. Efficiently trading the frontal guards Succession requires without getting caught in PvP can be difficult, but it can also do an exceptional job when played at a high level. It is important to note that the frontal guards are going to be more useful than super armors in most high-end PvE as well. On the other hand, the super armor's awakening offers can be much better in PvP as people will have a tough time CCing you as you're jumping between iframes into super armored CC. Another important thing to note is that Awakening does have a Q block and an S block, which is important for being able to regain stamina between trades. Succession is one of the few specs in BDO that does not have an S block or a Q block, which makes it more difficult to stay safe against range pressure without throwing out your already frontal guarded skills. Overall, both specs of Sork are as difficult to master as they are to deal with when playing against them. If you are looking for an absolute menace in 1vx pvp look no further thanks so much for watching guys i wanted to give a special thanks to all of the community members who helped make this video possible if you want more information about this class i have linked all of the content creators who made this class in the video description so that you can check out their content please remember to like subscribe and comment if you like the video and i'll see you in the next one